Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm fine, and you? Very nice. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Okay, in six minutes, we will start okay. with the class. Okay, okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome.
Hi, good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? How are you? Fine, fine, teacher. Okay, how was your day? How was your day? My day was very, very hard because uh, I have been doing a lot of, how do you say, cause, uh, que hacer de la casa, teacher? Different activities. Uh -huh. yeah. Different, Different activities in my house. In my house. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some activities are do the dishes, clean the, the floor, Yes. Clean the house in general. Clean my bathroom. Clean yes. my refrigerator. Cook. <laughs> Cook, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Excellent. What I about was working in the office, teacher? In the office. Is your job hard? It was your job hard? ¿Estuvo pesado su trabajo? Yes, teacher. Yes. Un poco. Yes. Ok, Cecilia, are you tired? ¿Está tired. cansada? Yes, are you tired? Uh, no. no, no. Ya me repuse. <laughs> ok. <laughs> I like. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. What about Roberto, Carlos? How are you, Roberto? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, fine. I'm working today, all day. All day. Okay. How was how was your job? Uh, very tired. Very tired. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, what about Rufino? How was your day, Rufino? My uh, my day was. Um... A uh, little, a little tired. Uh, okay. I have to go to in my yeah um, a town, a center town. In yeah, uh, I I come back. I little, I little tired. Okay. Now, what about Rene David? Who is Rene David? Rene. How are you, René? I am fine, teacher. Okay, how was your day? Um, my day was a little bored. A little bored, why? Uh, because I was uh, all day in the, in the office. And... Is your job uh, difficult? No, I, I think that difficult in the in the first times but uh, with the pass of the time is 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 easy ah okay and sometimes uh, our uh, sometimes some jobs are stressful right but yes. sometimes are easy too yes okay thanks rene what about juan eduardo how are you juan eduardo very good teacher my guy is good uh, i am fine okay excellent what about byron how was your day byron how was your day byron and then aleli how was your day aleli Um, I had a day a lot of work. Oh, you had a lot of work. Is your job easy yes. or terrible or hard? I um, I held a uh, business online online. Yeah. In um, I work um every day, um, part night. Um, I have 
um, much business. Um, the bus, the bus on um, Korea. Okay. Thanks for your participation. Um, y por eso me develo bastante. Ah, okay. thank you. And, the, and then you, your job and is hard. How are you today? My day, it was nice. Yes. Thanks to God. Yes. yes. <laughs> and I'm happy to be here. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yes. Now, can you please tell me what yesterday's class was about? Can you please tell me what yesterday's class was about? Moral verbs. Moral verbs. Moral verbs. If clauses um, and gerunds. The clause on the gerund and gerunds. Yes, if clauses and gerund. Okay. Here we continue with this information. Let me see. Okay, here we have some exercises. Can you tell me what information I said or I, or I told you yesterday about, about the, this topic? Models, if clauses, and gerunds. Can you tell me some information? Yes. For example, yes, what... I see you I see you yesterday. Okay. What, what is model? What are models? King, 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 are auxiliaries. They are auxiliary verbs that are used together with the main verbs of the sentence. These verbs show shows possibility, intention, ability, or necessary. Now, what about if clauses? If clauses, they express a situation or condition and its possible outcome. And gerunds are verb forms ending in ing that names activities and are replaced in the sentence in which a noun is used. Yeah? Yesterday I told you this information. Now, here we have these, these important models. Here we have uh, two, let me see. Okay. The first model is Ken. What is the meaning of Ken? Puedo. Poder. Puedo. Puedo. Poder. Puedo. Poder, verdad? Yeah. Now, could. What is the meaning of could? Podría. 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 What is the meaning of, is it okay if? Está bien, sí. Sí, está bien, sí. Yeah. Now, I ask you, what is the close in this, in the third line? What is the close? If, right? If. If. If, if es, es, es el close aquí, es la cláusula. If. What is the meaning of if in Spanish? Sí. 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 ¿Para qué lo sí. utilizamos, los if clauses? Para, para to express a situation, situation or condition. condition. Yes, and it's, it's possible outcome. Eso tiene un resultado, right? Now, is it, is it okay if? 
Next one. Do you mind if? Te would it be okay si. if? Te importaría si. Pero en este caso, es con el do. Miren, do you mind if? Yes. But yesterday, I told you the following information. When you, when you use can and could, the next verb is in present, like this, borrow and lend. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Next verb is in present. And in can and could, next verb always be in present. Okay. Always is in present. Yeah. Now, this is the our, our first example with if clauses. Is it okay if I use your phone? With this kind of clause, next verb is in present too. Like this example that is use. Is it okay if I use your phone? With this kind of clothes, always next verb is, is in present. Next one. Do you mind if? What is the meaning of do you mind if? Te importaría si. Te importaría si. Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Te importaría si. And then in this case, como acá empieza con el do, miren que el do también es un auxiliar. Y lleva el si, lleva el do y lleva el si. At the end, el verbo también va a ser en present. In present. In present. Do you mind if? Aquí el verbo también va a ser en presente. Cuando empieza con do. When the auxiliary that we use is do. Do and if. Do and if. Do you mind if? Now, next. Would it be okay if? Would it be okay if? What is estaría the meaning? Bien, sí. Estaría bien, Dice, sí. Está bien, sí. Está bien, sí. I pick it up on Friday night. Si te is recojo. It, is it future? No. No, it is the, here is the past. Ah, ok. Is the past. Okay. Con este, miren, cuando lleva, lleva el good. But lleva el modal good. Y lleva el if close, el good, en if. The next verb is always in past. Cuando lleva el good y lleva el if at the end, entonces el verbo va a ser en pasado, el, el siguiente verbo. You can please take note. Ok. Siempre va a ser in past. Now, would you mind if, again, good and if. Here we have a model that is good and the if close, the close is if. And then, would you mind if I borrow it? Next bird is in past, in simple past. Yeah? Yeah. Because at the beginning is good and at the end is if. Now, what about this one? Would you mind? In this case, if is disappear, right? Aquí dice, would you mind? Lo mismo que arriba, pero no lleve el if. And then, cuando, cuando lleva el mind, aquí se convierte en un gerundio. Cuando solamente decimos, would you mind? Lleve el mind. And then, next verb is with ing, with yerun. Cuando aquí decimos, would you mind, pero no, no metemos el if, entonces el verbo va a ser en with ing, yerun. 
Would you mind letting me use laptop? Now, I wonder if, what is the meaning of this? I wonder if. Me pregunto, me pregunto si. Me pregunto, me preguntaría si, si. O me pregunto si I could borrow some money. I wonder if I could borrow some money. Me pregunto si me puedes prestar, ¿verdad? Si me puedes prestar algún dinero. ¿Ya? Yeah. Now, next one. I was wondering if you would mind. Here. Okay, let me, Natalie Geraldine, tell me your question. In the case of the question about the money, yeah. wouldn't it be, would you mind, I, I, I'm sorry, I was wondering if you could lend me some money. Repeat, please repeat again. The question about the money. Yeah. Isn't that, I was wondering if you could lend me some money. Yes, can be. Ustedes pueden preguntar en diferente forma. Yes, you can use with this one, with these different kind of models. Ahí puede preguntar de diferente forma. Podemos utilizar wonder if, o eso, could you mind if. It depends. Yeah. Let me, okay, René David, tell me. Uh, teacher, I don't know if if, if uh, I am the only one uh, listening listen to it. Uh, there are problems with the sound. Ah, at, okay. At, 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 at the strange sound is here. Uh, maybe someone has their microphone on. Ah, yes. I believe it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you have a reason? You have a reason. Ok, se lo voy a decir en español. Eh, si tiene alguien tiene el micrófono con, con alto volumen, cuando, cuando no esté hablando, solo escuchando, le recomendaría que lo pongan en mute, en silencio, porque esa interferencia afecta a los demás compañeros. Y si se escucha bastante interferencia, yo pensé que era el mío, pero ayer, ayer vi ese detalle también. Ahorita sí, ya lo quitaron. Ok, thanks for your comprehension. Tell me, René. Solamente eso, ¿verdad? Yes, only that. Ok, ok, you're welcome. Now, in this case, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. I was wondering. What is the meaning of I was wondering if you'd mind? I was wondering is, me preguntaba si, I was wondering if. Me preguntaba si, I was wondering if you'd mind borrow some money or you'd mind lending me your car. Ok, dice, me preguntaba si, aquí miren, would you mind este, aquí está contractado. Esto es lo mismo del good. You'd mind, and then don't confuse, it's the same, good mind. Yeah. If you mind lending me our car or lending me your car. Dice, me preguntaría o me preguntaba. Me preguntaba si que podría prestarme su carro, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yes. And then, como el verbo es mind y después del verbo mind dijimos que vamos a ponerlo con ing. Next verb it is, is with Jeron, with ing. Is it clear the information or do you have any question for this part? Teacher, excuse me. Tell me. Um, si lleva ing y si lleva if, entonces. Acá, cuando lleva el good y lleva el if, Va a ser en, sí. en pasado, el verbo en pasado. Okay. Pero si lleva sí. aquí, el good, good you mind, ya aquí lleva el mind, pero no lleva el if. Uh -huh. Después del verbo Por mind. Eso, entonces, ajá, entonces la oración última es una combinación de esas dos. 
Yes, it's a combination. Pero aquí dice, I was wonder, wondering if. Solamente esto mm -hmm. es el modals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. El modals. I was wondering if, hasta el if. Y ya esto, ya es la eje complemento. Ah, oh, ok. Mind, porque ya vamos a ver otras, otras estructuras. Les voy a poner unos ejercicios. Puede tener Ajá. una mezcla. Pero lo primero sí, que va por a eso, es... por eso me Por eso me confundía, porque si la primera llevaba if, y usted dijo que no se podía poner ing, y después viene will you mean uh, letting me your car, o sea, es una combination, como usted dice. Yes, it's a combination. Okay. The, secret okay. here is, uh, the secret here is this. Vaya, si lleva el secreto acá es, mire, como lleva el good y lleva el if, entonces el verbo va a ser en pasado, el siguiente verbo. Pero si lleva solamente el mind, aquí la diferencia es que no lleve el if. Si solamente dice would you mind, si solo lleva el mind, entonces el, el siguiente verbo sí va a ser con ing. Esa es la regla. Y yeah, after mind, okay. uh -huh, you put next verb with ing. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. And then here is a combination. I was wondering if you'd mind lending, yeah? You'd mind lending me your car. Ok, is it clear? Okay. Or do you yes. have any question more? Ok. Is it clear? Is it clear? Ok. We will start with, an, with other exercise. Here, eso lo hicimos ayer. Now. Here, exercises. This is a kind of, another kind of exercise. Instruction, complete the request for each situation. In number one, ven eh, bien o quieren que se los haga más grande? Amplíelo, por favor. Ok, ok. Yes. In your notebook, do this exercise. You have four minutes in your notebook. Aquí está, miren, dice, you want to borrow a dollar from a friend for a cup of coffee? This is an example. Can I borrow a dollar for a cup of coffee? And then, It is important you complete the request for each, each situation. What about number two? Please do it in your notebook. You want a classmate to give you a ride home after class. Trate de hacerlo. No se preocupe si se equivoca. Luego lo vamos a, a analizar juntos. If you have any questions, please let me know.
Y number two is you want a classmate to give you a ride home after class. Y number three, you want to turn down your roommate's TV. Four, you want to use a friend's cell phone. Five, you want to borrow a friend's car for the weekend. Six, you want someone to tell you how to get to the subway. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. What about the rest of the class? Did you finish? No, no yes. yet. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you help me with number two? I right hear number two. Let me see. Okay, we start with number two. Okay, what verb is here? Can you tell me? Can it's you tell guant. Me? Okay. It is guant. The verb is guant. Here it is. Would you mind what? Giving me a ride home. Giving me? All right, home. giving me a ride home after class. After class, after class, okay. Are you agree or disagree? I agree. Okay, why is the verb change in this case? Because don't have a, a the conditional if. The conditional if, excellent. And the verb is mine, right? Excellent. And then, would you mind giving me a ride home after class? It's okay. What about number three? Who wants to participate with number three? Volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. 
Tell me, please. Number three. Is it okay if I I turn it down to TV? Turn down or change the verb or, or it's okay? Moment, TV. It's okay, right? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué está correcta? Because after the, the for this model we use present, pres, verb in present, and then it's okay. Is it okay if I turn down the TV? Yeah? Yeah. It's okay or no? Yes. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Now, number four. Me, teacher, the number four. Okay. Aunque aquí, miren también, aquí no, no, aquí en la número tres también podríamos ponerlo completo. ¿eh? Dice, turn down. Yeah. yeah. Only the TV can be. Oh, it's okay. Okay. In number four, who wants to participate? Do you mind if I use your cell phone? Okay, did you mind if number four, do you mind if if I use I, your cell phone? Your cell phone? Okay. Are you agree or no? Or disagree? Agree, right? I agree, teacher. Do you mind if I use your cell phone? What about number five? Who wants to participate? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. In this case, the, the verb use, uh, uh, no sería en verbo pasado, the past verb. No, in this case, no, because with this auxiliary that is do, the verb is in present. Oh, okay, thanks, mm -hmm. teacher. Because it's do, but if the verb is good and then it, it, the verb change. Yeah. Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. What about number five? Who wants to participate? I was wondering what? If you oh. borrow me. <laughs> If if you borrow me your car for the weekend. If I yes. If if you borrow me. If borrow your car. me. Borrow me your, your car, car for the weekend. For the weekend. Yeah. También podría ser aquí, miren, if I could Borrow. También podríamos agregarle esto. I was wondering if I could borrow, borrow your car for the weekend. ¿Ya? ¿Podría ser así la primera o podría ser esta? I was wondering if I could borrow. Aquí está mezclado así como vimos el, el anterior, miren. ¿Ya? This is was wondering if I could borrow your car for the weekend. It's okay too. Are you agree or disagree? I agree. Okay. I am I am confusing with ah. borrow e um I I understood oh, I understood borrow mm -hmm. is uh, that prestado. Yes, es pedir prestado. Y Len uh -huh. eh, es pedir, entonces, eh, borrow, que diga, si podría prestarte tu carro en fin de semana, y es confused for me. Ah, uh, sí, tiene razón en but, este caso, ya, okay. ya, but, yeah, yeah, but here, en este caso dice, I could... What is the meaning of could? 
Podría, ¿verdad? Podría, sí. Entonces dice, I was wondering if... ¿Quién me traduce esto en, en español? What is the meaning of this, this sentence? Please. Me preguntaba si podrías prestarme tu carro para el fin de semana. Uh -huh, para el in fin de semana. Case, Aquí... In this case, lending me? In this case, this, this, this Byron? For this, uh, is, is lending me. I could lending yeah. me your car. Yeah, but there are some words that has different different meanings and then lending is the same but in this case we use borrow borrow it means pedir prestado entonces en este caso si lo pone así si lo traducimos así dice que podría prestarme su carro porque aquí no, borrow yeah? es eh, prestar, prestar yo presto Sí. ¿Y Len? Yeah. Pero ¿a dónde está viendo el Len? No, en el, 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 el entendimiento de Barrow y Len. Ah, ok, the, ok. The, those two, two, two it's, words. It's, it's, it's different mm. because Len yes. is, is about the person that give the, the, the mm -hmm. car. And borrow is the person that, eh, la, la persona que pide. La han pedir prestado. Ok. Thanks for the information. Okay. Ok. Thank yeah. You. Ok. But after class, I, I, yo les envío la información después de la clase también. Les voy a mandar un artículo de esto. The difference. When, when we, we can use lend and when, can, and when can, can you use borrow. But the information that that he gave us is okay. Thanks for your participation. Yeah. Okay. But in this case, is it clear now, Roberto? Ana Rufino? Rufino, is okay or do you have more information about this? No, creo que no me escucha. Ok, after class, I, I, I send you more information about the differences of land it, and barrow. It's ok. Ok. Uh, excuse me for not hearing you. Uh, <laughs> I, ok, I, there is no I problem. Had, I, I had closed my, my, <laughs> my car phone. <laughs> ok, there is no problem. Now, what about number six? What is the information for number six could you tell me how to get to the subway okay could you tell me how, how to, get to get to the subway to the subway are you agree or disagree yes agree Yes. Agree. Okay, it's okay. Could you tell me how to get to the subway? Yeah, it's okay. Do you have any questions for this part or for this exercise? Is everything no. everything okay? Everything okay. okay. Yes, okay. Thanks. And then continue with this exercise. Instruction, look at the pictures and write the conversations. Speaker A makes a request. Speaker B declines. Each speaker should give a reason. Now, here, Here, uh, let me see, accepting, okay. Here we have some, some, when you accept, accept something, you can use this one. That's okay, I guess. I'll be last too, and fine, no problem. 
And when you decline, decline is the opposite, right? Is the opposite of accepting. Accepting and decline. Aceptar y denegar. When you decline, you can use this one. Sorry, but... And the reason. I'd like to, but... The other reason. Unfortunately. And you can put another reason. In this exercise, you... You use declining for, because the instructions are look at the pictures and write the conversation. Speaker A makes a request and speaker B declines it. Each speaker should give a reason. Here we have an example. Here, in number one. Ven bien esta parte. El número uno. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. yes. okay, thanks. This is the, this is our example. Could you carry this suitcase? First, look at the pictures. And based on the pictures, you make or you do the, 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 the information. Do, do you do the conversation practice? Okay. Could you carry this suitcase in this, this picture? Said, can you carry this suitcase for me? I have a bad back. Sorry, but I have a bad back too. This is letter B. Él está denegando, le dice que por qué no puede, right? Yes. Do you have any doubt for this exercise? No. Okay. Please do it in your notebook. You have only three minutes.
sorry, teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, in the third case, um, what action do you in play? In number three, can be, let me see. I have the information for you. Maybe the question could be, could you take care of these things? Because she asked to him to uh, take care of the things. Acá ella le está pidiendo a él que le cuide sus cosas, miren. Entonces pueden ponerlo. Pueden ponerlo como, could you take care, could you take care, care of these things? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Did you finish? Remember that you can use this declining. Sorry, but I like to bad, unfortunately. Did you finish? Yes, finish. Okay, thanks. Can you tell me with number two, please? Can you help me? In number two, what is your conversation?
René, you finish, right? Could you help me? Okay. Could you help me? Watching. Watching. Or to or help me to watch the dishes. Mm, okay, watch the dishes. In this case, oh. the verb that that we can use is doing, because in in English is do the dishes. It means do the dishes. Uh -huh. It means lavar los trastos. In this case, doing the is, dishes. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Here we have here. Would you mind? Se lo voy a poner aquí y luego lo, lo vemos con los, los otros que ustedes tienen. So, would you mind doing the dishes? I like to. Doing but... the dishes. But in this exercise, you can use declining. Use yes. only declining. I like to. Decline. Mm -hmm. I like to. Okay. I like to. I like to, but I I, I like have a meeting right now. To, but I have a meeting right now. Right now. Excellent. Now, in who helped me? In, in this yes. Age, uh, I can, uh, would you mind washing the dishes? Or you know, it's correct, it's uh, in the same, too. Would you mind washing the dishes? Ta ¿También se puede o no? No, no, because you use this. Usted está usando este verbo, ¿verdad? Washing. No, wash, uh, uh, no, de lavar, lavar. Ah, ok, lavar, no. Eh, porque en inglés... Uh -huh. En inglés se dice do the dishes. Se, es como hacer los trastos. Así se dice ah. en inglés como, eh, mm. no se dice lavar así como en español, ¿verdad? O puede decir uno clean the dishes y, y todo eso. Ah, en inglés no. En inglés se dice do the dishes. Do, ah. do the dishes. And then, entonces año. acá, yes, yes. And then, así como lavar es wash, ¿verdad? Wash. wash. Mm -hmm. Pero en este caso es lavar los trazos, se dice do the dishes. Ok. Yes. And then for, the, for that reason, we use here doing. Yeah. Entonces sería el verbo, yeah. teacher. El verbo, sí. Aquí está, esa es la, mm -hmm. la que, la, 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 la petición, ¿verdad? Would you mind, pero como no lleva el if, le ponemos el verbo con el ing, ¿ya? En el español no tiene sentido para nosotros, pero en el inglés sí. <ríe> en el inglés sí, ya. Ya, ya. Ok, you're welcome. It's important to know it. Yes, it's very important. Ok, now what about number three? Who help me with number three? O you have another, another example with number two? Aquí podríamos ponerle también, mire, aquí ve. Am, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Porque se ve bien cansada ella. O ellos se ve bien cansado. Podríamos ponerle, I'm exhausted. Here. Mire, would you mind doing the dishes? Podría que lavar los trastos. I'm exhausted. Estoy exhausto. Y what is the what is the the, the answers? I like to, but I have a meeting right now. It's okay, right? Me gustaría, dice, pero tengo una reunión en este momento. ¿Ya? O ahora, right now. Okay, what about number three? Who helped me with number three? 
Could you mind? Could you mind? Take care of these things. Take care of the thing. Yes. In this or case, take care of my things. Take care of my thing. My thing. Yes. yes. Yes, can be. But in this case, Byron, is not take. Oh, yes. Yes or no? Yes or no? It's okay, right? Solo los estoy probando. Yes. yes. Solo los estoy probando. Acá, como, ¿qué, ¿qué podemos decir aquí? Would you care? Would you mind? Sería taking. Take. No, pero está bien con el could, porque con el could, ¿cómo tiene que ir oh, el verbo? Okay. Tiene que ir en present. Entonces en aquí, present. yes. ¿Cómo podría ser ahí? Ok. Continue with this. ¿Qué más tiene, yeah. Byron? Ok, That's continue. Continue, yes. That's ok, I guess. That's okay. Yes. Okay. Now, this is my my conversation. Could Teacher, could you take? Tell me. And um, I have an example, but I I made a, another interpretation of the drawing. Yes. Let me only. Yeah, me, give me a second, please. Could you take care of these things? Aquí, en la, en la número tres, como que no aplicaría poner el mind, ¿verdad? Para que Sería, veamos la, la estructura. Could you, take? could you take this one? Yes. Could you take, take care of things? Aquí se los estoy poniendo, miren. Because the structure is different. Here, could you take care of these things? I have, I have to leave early today. This is the reason. And what is the answer in letter B? The answer, sorry, but I have, to leave I have to leave early today too okay because aquí estamos dando miren la pregunta estamos dando la razón y la respuesta rechazando la eh, como rechazo ya it's okay. Now, eh, ¿quién me iba a dar su, su conversation, please? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, please. But I, I say that mm -hmm. I made another inter interpretation of the drawing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the example is, uh, could you sing this document because it's important? Could you? Sin this document. Sin. Sin of the of the um, firma. Ah, sign. Sign. Could you sign? Could you sign this document because it, it's important. This document, they are, but they are very important. What else? The, the answer it is yeah. sorry, but I have my hands full. I have my hands full. A hands. 
Hands full. Hands full. Hands full. Mano llena. Ho. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Ah, okay. But I have my hands full. Yeah. Or dirty. Or, or yeah. Can be. It's acceptable. Could you sign this document? They are very important. Sorry, but I have my hands full. It's okay, right? It's different the closed. Yes, it's different because the, uh, he he saw another things. Yes. Yes. Ustedes pueden ver la, las fotos y pueden crear crear eh, otra, otras conversaciones. Después de la clase pueden quedarse viéndolo en el, el video cuando ya se lo suba de YouTube y ahí pueden ver de nuevo las pictures y hacer otras, otras oraciones, otras conversations. Eso les va a ayudar mucho, utilizando siempre, ¿verdad? El, la, lo, hacer la, la pregunta, hacer la, el, la petición, luego rechazarla y dar una razón de por qué. ¿Ya? Ok. Do you have any questions for this information? No. Ok. Vaya, entonces hasta aquí llegamos con la clase de este día. Mañana vamos a escuchar un, un listening. Un listening, eso está en la plataforma, si lo pueden escuchar sería bueno y tome nota, tome nota de, lo que, de los favores que usted escuche en el audio, porque con eso vamos a trabajar mañana. Todos los favores que usted escuche, anótelos, ¿ya? Porque eso mismo vamos a hacer mañana, escuchar el audio y anotar los favores. Aparte de eso, entramos con un tema muy importante, que es las indirect requests, ¿ya? Indirect request for tomorrow. Ok, teacher. Ok. okay. Entonces, cualquier duda que tengan, por favor, díganme. Y pueden ir completando ya los ejercicios de la plataforma para que lo tengan ya listo y lo puedan mandar ya sea jueves o viernes. ¿Right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Ok, okay you're welcome. Okay. And see you tomorrow. Thanks for see coming. See you tomorrow. Thank Have you. a nice night. Take. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. God bless you.